off. Like, yeah. oh god, no, not Sami Zayn yeah. as well. No, we've had enough injuries. And like, no, he did a great job of selling that. Because I was immediately going, he's not. He's yeah. not injured. It's okay. Seth gets a win because of it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Kevin Owens beats Neville in a pretty solid match mm-hmm. because of Jericho interference. Yep. Uh, Neville's going to be great for that cruiserweight division. He really is. Uh, New Day promo. Mm hmm. During your 65 days. Mm hmm. I know you want that 8 bit New Day t shirt. Okay, you just beat me to that <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, no, I want that yesterday. Um, yeah, that made me so fucking happy. It's like an old NES black box uh, game. Like the Cena one. Yeah, and then it's Cena. fucking. It's, but it's New Day and. Jumping up. It's even got, like, an NES logo kind of thing or whatever. Because Xavier Woods was probably a curator of that t-shirt. Yeah, so I'm buying that shirt now, um, as soon as I can get my hands on it. Uh, November. Mm. Uh, Talking Carl, Mm -hmm. cutting a promo going last night was bullshit. You guys fucked us over. Mm -hmm. Well, no, but yeah. Biggie then has a match with Carl Anderson. Decent match, Biggie gets a win. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. Like, this was a throwaway Raw because it had to be. Yeah, they like, had no they, choice. They, I'm sure they had a plan. But... Yeah, I'm sure it was going to be a fantastic Raw. I mean, we got a great debut, mm-hmm. which we'll get to in a few minutes, but what else were they going to do? I'm sure their plan was that it was going to be awesome, but they just didn't have the ability because all of the matches were taken up by this new tournament thing and everything they were going to do with Finn and everything you know they were going to do with you know everyone else was booed? taken away. I, mm. Thinking back, you know what the crowd booed? Uh. It's that... And next week we will crown a universal oh, yeah. champion. You know what? You might be right on that, but still at the same time, they can't do it in one night. You just can't. Well, you could, but... You shouldn't. Yeah, I know. Uh, Titus beat up Bob Backlund, and I'm sure Bob Backlund was happier than a pig in shit. <laughs> like, yeah, slam me! Let's okay. go, you big son of a bitch! First of all, <laughs> fuck the crowd for not being into this, because that was a great promo. Um, well, he was he was fast talking. That was a problem. He was he was stumbling over his words. He was, and... but I still think it was a good promo. If you listen to what he meant, not yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. how he said it, because he's not he's still a little like nervous. it was the best day of his life when he yeah. got there. I get. I, I, I thought it was good. I thought what he said was really good. I'm glad that we've established who's the heel and who's yeah, the yeah. I, I want that to be very. I wanted that to be very clear. And yeah. He, he called out Darren Young, and Bob Backlund came running in, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, He's like, you get your back, old man. You yeah. go get in. My back was like, no. <laughs> like, well, he jumps on him. Grabs him. And actually got him in the chicken wing for like a half a second. Then I'm like, oh, don't tap him out to this. And then, of course, immediately. He gets him up, slams him. He gets him up him. and slams him down. And I'm like, Bob Backlund just came. Yeah. He is so happy right now. It's just, it's painful. Darren Young gets out. Mm-hmm. Catches a clash of the tightest. Yep. That feud continues. But I'm just glad that the lines have been drawn. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie Man interviewed. He mm-hmm. says there will be repercussions for Brock Lesnar, aka he will be suspended. And then I'll cover his time off in between big pay per views. Okay. Uh, Cass beat Rusev via countout because Rusev didn't want to fight. Also, I think he's actually hurt. He is. So that's yeah. why that match really didn't get going. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, Big Cass needs to be in that match because it was announced here that it's going to be a fatal four way. Uh huh. So Seth, mm-hmm. Kevin Owens, mm-hmm. Big Cass, and the winner of Roman versus YJJ, mm-hmm. fatal four way next week. Universal champion. Okay. Big Cat's in that match to take the pin. Yes, he is. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's absolutely why. Um, uh, Jared K.O. interview, awesome, calling yeah. Tom Phillips. Uh, uh, Philippe. Philippe and all that stuff. Yes. Um, Charlotte. Yep. Saying, see? Mm-hmm. I told ya. Sasha's too fragile to be champion. She mm-hmm. can't handle it. Yeah. I'm the greatest. Mm-hmm. Charlotte really is one of the only true heels in wrestling. Oh, yeah. No, she'll come out and be like, yeah, look, she was useless. She's a bitch. Like, people boo her. Yeah. There's no, like... Dude, everyone knows the Bailey backstory. Bailey hugged Charlotte yeah. at, back to Brooklyn, and, they, and booed. they booed. <laughs> like, and they know, everyone knows the history. Everyone knows why, and they still booed. It's great. Uh, says, okay, well, I'm gonna have the night off. Nobody's left. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mick comes out, goes, no, no, you're great. That's mm-hmm. great. You're mm-hmm. the champ. Good for you. You had a hell of a match. Yeah. Like, but, you know, she's but, like, I should have the night off. He goes, no, no. He's like, you're, you, okay, fine, mm. but there's someone who you need to fight. And then the crowd loses their we're shit, gonna, we're gonna, seriously, we know who it is. We're gonna, me and Steph have signed the hottest free agent. Mm-hmm. It's Bailey. Yeah. I did like Cole's delivery. Guys, it's, it's Bailey! Bailey! <laughs> awesome. Genius. Thank you, Michael Cole, for finally doing it right. Cue the wacky wave of the yeah. alarm tube man. Um, yeah, um, she comes out, she's Baileyed up like crazy. Has she's her match in. against Dana, wins. Yeah. Good um, she makes a whole big point of hugging McFoley. I'm like, yeah. keep that gimmick going. She's a fucking please. nerd. She's got to be. 
This she's got to be the fucking, fucking nerd. Yeah, she's got to be the nerd. Like right here in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, right? <laughs> like they've got it. They've got to keep her that way because they. She got a little too. Like I said last week, she got a little too angry. Yeah. Like just she's got to still. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. still got to be the biggest dork in the world. And they sold her like that. Yeah, they did. Uh, match was decent against Dana. She gets yeah, the win, fine. obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like. Uh, mm. I don't know if we've ever referenced this. Mm. The hey, we want some Bailey. I don't think we've ever talked about it. No. <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah. That's a song. Yeah, and the uh, the lyric to that is not Bailey. Mm-mm. It's uh, for those not in the know. It's pussy. Mm-hmm. It's hey, we want some fuss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I will not be singing it ever. And now it's hey, we want some Bailey, and I'm like, mm-hmm. hmm. Well, that's can we also... stick to the other one? The hey, yeah, oh. the the hey, hey I want to know. Yeah, the one that Would actually replaces girl? Bailey with uh, or baby with Bailey. Yeah, I'm okay not with that. With not Bailey. pussy. Um, yeah, no. Um, when we're at like whatever event it is, and Bailey's there, and the crowd starts it's singing, that, I I will not be singing that. I I I no, because again, I can never sexualize Bailey. That's never gonna happen. So no. Fair enough. No, no. Seamus interviewed you. Says yeah. we uh, we beat the hell of each other. Talk about him and Cesaro, mm-hmm. and I do believe next week is match two. Yes, uh, Braun <laughs> beats this up Johnny is, Ko. This is so pointless. Yeah. Um, who again Byron in the ring? So why are you doing this? And his answer is, I literally the only thing he said was, I like big sweaty men. Okay, and. Tyron didn't know what to do with that. He's like, all right, good luck. And then he just leaves. Well, it's, And then Braun murders him. Well, it's a good thing that, you know, Byron didn't say anything, because what do you say to that? Yeah. You know? Johnny Knockout, the man's name. Yeah, good for him. And he did get knocked out and Braun mm-hmm. won. So well done. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Dudleys are done. <sighs> I think. Well, they're done in WWE. Well, I don't know, because that's the thing. The way that First this off, ended... Mm. I thought this was going to be a Mark Henry situation, and... I'm not sure it's not. And Bubba Ray was going to just turn on Devon and become well, okay. Bobby Ray. I didn't expect that, but I'm not sure they're done now because of the way this ended. Well, no, they might have done the thing of going out on going your back. Going back, but, I, but couldn't they do that one Because you can't do it with Gallows like, and Anderson because Gallows and Anderson are in the middle of a yeah. I mean, I get that the Shining Stars came out, whatever. Yeah, but, but I'm not sure how this is. Well, it's And that strange. was actually the best thing yeah. I've ever seen from the Shining Stars. That was amazing. Yeah, that was great. Um... I don't know. I'm I'm really not sure. It does seem a little odd that they're retiring. They might just be retiring from WWE because their run has been nothing. Last year has been, eh. which it shouldn't have been. They yeah. really should have gotten. Frankly, there's no room for them. Uh, not now, not anymore. Well, no, no, because again, like we said, the the revolution which they should be bucking leading, like a tag revolution, is not happening. We yeah. want it to be. We're pushing for it, but it's not happening. You know. A year or so down the line, once it starts to actually, hopefully, get some prominence, you know, with, like, Revival and shit like that, like, hopefully there will be a place for them, but right now there isn't, so, I mean, I don't necessarily go, I think retiring might be a drastic measure, Mm -hmm. but at the same time, we don't know their situation, maybe they're both just like, fuck it, we're out. We've done enough. Because this kind kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, I just read yesterday. I read it this morning. That the Dudleys are going to retire. And I'm like, what? Yeah, the first time I saw it was And oh, I read yeah, it like, yesterday. okay, well, Bubba's going to turn on Devon and we'll get fully Ray. But yeah. that never happened. It was no. just straight up. It was just straight yeah, up. We're, like, done. we're done. And then the yeah. gals and Anderson put them through a table. And yeah. that was kind of it. And I'm like, are, 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 are they done? Eh? Cause so it's I'm weird. confused. I don't know where we're going. It is odd. I hope this is just like a gimmick of some kind where they're just like, maybe. It's not necessarily that they get pissed at Gallows and Anderson, but maybe they're just like, you know what, we saw what happened to us last week, and we're like, you know what, we're not going out. like We're that. not done. Yeah, we can't go out like that. We got to go out, you know, in a in a like, you know, we got we wanted to go out on our own terms, and this is how they wanted us to go out. Well, fuck that. We're the Dudleys. We're taking everybody out. And then maybe they take a run at the at the titles or some such shit. But I don't know. Maybe Bubba wanted to go out in New York. Who knows? Maybe we'll I don't know. This goes. I mean, Christ, I he could go one more year. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Again, maybe they're done. Like. You know, Devon's got a family. Bubba's got a really hot girlfriend. Maybe they just want to go home. I don't know. We'll you see. Know? Uh, last match, Roman yeah. beats Y2J. Roman wins. LOL. Crowd yeah. wasn't happy. No. Um, again, we get the chance of Roman can't wrestle. And yes, he can he wrestle. He absolutely can. And you all are stupid. But you know what? You still say Cena can't wrestle. Although I will point out, at fucking SummerSlam, he got cheered. Yeah, at because you can't. You can't well, first boo off, that match. First off, he... 
put AJ over. So yeah. that's probably why, yeah. okay, we put AJ over. Yeah, because so, okay. yeah, it's his decision. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, Roman, so it's Roman, KO, Big yeah. Cass, Seth, mm-hmm. winner gets the Universal Championship. I'm hoping for Kevin Owens. I am as well. Um, I don't think they're going to give it to Roman. I don't think he's out of the doghouse yet. No, I'm pretty it's, sure. It's either going to be Kevin or Seth. Yeah, I want it to be Kevin because as much as I like... Like, listen, in a world where Finn should be already be champion and he can't be... Give it to another Give it guy. to Kevin. Kevin is the other guy who can take let, it. Let yeah. Kevin take advantage of this injury. Yeah. Because trust me... The Kevin Owens fucking Finn Balor feud will be awesome. So, like, even if you want to have Kevin Owens win the belt on Monday and hold it until WrestleMania, until which WrestleMania, is believable, and then we can have the last year's Brooklyn main event mm-hmm. be next year's yes. WrestleMania. Okay, main event. Um, Christ, put it in a ladder match too. Do the same fucking match over, and nobody will complain. So, yeah. All right. So we've talked for too long. we got to put a bullet in this shit. Um, so we end with hashtags and thank yous. Yes. So uh, thank yous first off. My place of business or where we normally do this podcast. Uh, Planet X, comic books, collectibles, all kinds of fun stuff just like that. And uh, for the... I'm sorry. I'm literally trying to do a text at the same time. My apologies. I really shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so for all information, go to ePlanetX.com. And for the web store, go to ePlanetX.net. Also, uh, our friends who have helped us out immensely over the last almost four years is Geek vs. Goth, which is the blog, a blog from the perspective of a geek and a goth who knew. Uh, they talk about all kinds of interesting things around Toronto events and, that, and stuff of that nature, but also movie reviews and things of old and new, and just whatever the hell pops into their minds. So check them out, geekvsgoth.com. And as always, Wrestling Audio Revolution, Luke, Sean, Chuck, and Chen. It'll be interesting to hear their opinion on Back to Brooklyn and mm-hmm. SummerSlam and what happened with the what's happened with the universal title, the controversy behind the look of it, what happened on Raw, mm-hmm. probably the Super J's, all the things we talked about, yeah. I'm sure they'll talk about in the upcoming future. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so check them out, WrestlingOnRevolution.com. They share us on there. We're on Facebook. They're on Facebook. They share us on Facebook. They do. So they've helped us out the most oh, yes. out of anyone over Absolutely. the past almost, like I said, almost four years. <laughs> yeah. In a couple, that's in about a month. Yeah. That's crazy. That's nuts. Uh, so hashtags. Yes. Um, this is match the hardest is, thing in the world. Match is easy, though. Yeah. AJ Cena, yeah. SummerSlam. I mean, it is kind Out of Out of all the crazy matches that, that we saw this weekend. This weekend, we've got three new Match of the Year contenders. Yeah. Uh, I believe one so. One is a guarantee. Yeah. The other two is a possibility. Yeah. That's amazing. But AJ Cena overall. Oh, yeah. Uh, worker, that's going to be hard. Um... I'm going to go with, even though I didn't like the match at the end, I would go with Kushida for pulling, like, triple duty. Yeah, he did wrestle three times. You know what I mean? I, I, well, so did the other guy, but... Yeah, but... Well, Kimaru. Yeah, but... Well... Sure, Kushida, whatever. Yeah. And just because, also, like, who the fuck else are we going to pick, honestly? Out of everyone. Yeah, it's just got to be... It's got to be quantity over quality at this point, because quality was all over the joint. Yeah. Um... A moment... Moment. Yeesh. Finn Balor. Finn Balor winning the, win the universal Before title. Before we fucking found uh, out all Nakamura. The bad Nakamura debuting. winning the title. Um, even if it's legit, the fucking the Dudley boys retiring. That's a fucking yeah. moment, you know. But yeah, like I said, next Monday. Yep. We're not going to be able to bring you raw. No, that we um, do apologize for that. Yeah, we're going to be because again, Fan Expo is taking over my life for a week, so. The only way we can get a show in next week is to do it on Monday, so apologies for the fact that we won't be talking about Raw, but we'll get two in the next one after, yeah. so that'll be a that'll be chock full of Raw. So, next week will kind of be a nothing show, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have SmackDown, we will have yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, we'll have SmackDown and CWC and Impact and pretty much everything but Raw. You so, know. there'll be some stuff there, yeah, yeah. so we apologize if it's a light show, but... Mm-hmm. Them's the breaks. Yeah. But until then, yep. for this crazy-ass, long-ass show, Yeah. you were Steve. You were Justin. That was Fedcast. I'm tired. <laughs>